So, uh, welcome back, scoundrels. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Apologies on the uh, audio quality. Again, uh, when I'm away from home, it's impossible for me to transport everything that makes my audio so good at home. I have a complete mixer system. I have a soundproofed room, which actually contributes more than any of the electrical equipment does at all, in my opinion. Um, and when I'm here, I have Thronmax. Very nice microphone, but unfortunately, the audio quality of hotel rooms, they're not exactly known for being... Uh, particularly good for acoustics. As you can hear, the echo is rather wild. And plus the laptop that I game on, slash play, slash create videos on, has a graphics card that is, you know, very powerful. Well, used to be very powerful, not so powerful now. And as you can hear, the fans are rather loud. Not much I can do about it, unfortunately. I did have a, I did have a, um, a comment the other day saying, you know, you need to invest in proper audio equipment if you want the channel to grow, but... I do this for fun, like, I, I, I make YouTube videos for fun, I make a little bit of income from it, but nothing, like, ridiculous, uh, and, yeah, I, I mostly just do it to have, like, connect with you guys, feel like I have a community, like, that, that's really why I do the majority of my, uh, the majority of my channel. So today I'm doing A Soldier's Way, and I'm going to show you the way by which I actually go about uh, approaching these missions. Um, as you can see here, we have a rather large set of uh, enemies at my door. So what I'm going to do initially is I'm going to have a look at this. I'm going to not observe it. I'm going to orbit it at 100 kilometers. So I'm just going to orbit the center at 100, 100 kilometers and see essentially who ends up coming towards me as quickly as possible. And you can see on PVE, I know that the battle cruisers are definitely not. So I'm going to unlock these guys. That Drake, That Drake's not getting here anytime soon. That nudge is not getting any here anytime soon. Looks like the condors are heading to me with relative speed, though. The reason I do this is because when you're doing a storyline mission, usually you're going to face some elites, and oftentimes those elites have uh, micro-warp drives, and they close the distance on you very quickly. In this particular wave, there are no actual elites. There are just some named, uh, some named ships. So uh, the likelihood is that I'm going to try and wait for the... The, the pack to separate out a little bit, and I'm just going to go in and clear them like I would clear normally. So I might re be required to warp in and out a little bit during this um, this storyline mission, but as you can see, I'm just trying to separate out the pack a little bit by warping in at 100 kilometers. And I'm now just orbiting at 100 kilometers uh, just to buy some time. The other way that I would do this would be to align towards a station and just move away from the pack. Um, but this is also fine. Like, this is also fine. This means that I'm going to the, the middle pack will stay relatively uh, relatively constant st uh, state though. So it looks like this condor is heading towards me. So I'm actually going to approach it. Uh, I think the fact that we're going up against battle cruisers, I imagine that there is probably a 30 or 40 k range on some of these guys' missiles. I don't know what the the range on the missiles is specifically when dealing with um, when dealing with uh, Pythium or Pythy uh, rats. But we should be able to start killing some of the smaller ones with relative ease. There'll be rail guns as well. So there'll be rail guns and rockets that I'm dealing with for the most part here. Okay, so he's down. We're going to go and move towards this guy. I wonder what my range is when I... Uh... It's still the same. So we're just going to walk... walk sort of head towards this guy. We've got this blackbird coming in. But, oh, the drake's actually closing in on me as well. That's fine. We're not taking any damage as of yet, so I'm not too fussed. Uh, when it comes to the battle cruisers, because I can circle them at a relatively high speed, I'm actually not too fussed. I'm actually going to start orbiting this guy at 10 kilometers because I actually want to now pop my resistances. So I'm going to get my drone out now because we're in a situation where drones actually going to do some damage. Okay, so probably going to have to think about popping my shield booster with rel relatively soon. I'm just running the same Caracal setup I've always run, by the way. If you want uh, an indication to that, I'll do a little bit before the video or I'll do a little bit after the video. Um, but it's the same Caracal setup I've run for, for weeks now. Um, and I feel like it's a good all-round setup. It's not super tanky, but it's got quite a lot of damage. Uh, are we going to go in and orbit this Drake? This Drake has split off from the pack a little bit, so why not? I'm not going to pop this until I'm within 25 kilometers range. And there we go. So I'm going to pop my drone, make sure it's attacking. 
So the dregs are going to take a little bit longer to kill, but um, should get them down relatively soon. It's not this wave that I'm worried about, it's the next wave. So what I'm probably going to do towards the end of this wave is once I've killed the last one, I'm going to align and warp out. I'm taking a little bit of damage here, not a huge amount. I might drop the graphical settings. I don't know what my graphical settings are currently set to. Let's, set to, let's just set it to medium. I've noticed a bit of lag on my laptop. Uh, I don't. I, there's a problem I'm having with my laptop where it's not actually using the main graphics card a lot of the time. It's just using the uh, the, the built-in graphics card. Got to be a little bit careful here. I'm losing a lot of capacitor and not actually gaining much from the uh, the Drake. Set orbit. I want my optimal orbit range to be eight kilometers because of my uh, Nosferatu's. I'm not sure why I'm running a web of fire. There was, there was a reason that I was running a web of fire, but I can't remember what that reason is now. <laughs> There's a blackbird here and a blackbird there. We kill this drake, then we kill the blackbirds. We managed to get through this first wave with relative ease. Uh, we managed to tank a lot of these, a lot of these, um, these battle cruisers. And again, because I'm I'm actually going around these guys at 840 meters per second or 700, 700, 700 and something meters per second. You know, we're, um, we're actually avoiding quite a lot of the damage coming out from the battle cruisers, which is good. This is why I have the afterburner to be able to speed tank in a cruiser versus the battle cruisers is actually why I have the afterburner in general because it helps reduce damage from um, especially the railgun battle cruisers. I can't remember which of the railgun battle cruisers uh, a witch, but I think it might be the, the Naja and the, the Drake are almost certainly going to be missiles. So that's why I take out the Drakes before the Najas because, um, oh, I'm at 30% capacitor, so I have to be a little bit careful here. If I drop below 30%, my natural regen is going to be a lot lower. Okay, so I'm going to orbit this guy. I haven't got auto orbit on, by the way, because it was causing me some issues, so I have to manually orbit. And I'm going to just be maintaining above 30% capacitor where I can, unless I'm going into emergency mode and I need to sort of spend more capacitor to get into a good place. But we're, we're good here. We're, we're maintaining shield. We're maintaining above 30% capacitor. We're not cap stable. We can't have everything, have everything going uh, forever. I would need to probably go back to three Nosferatu if that was the case. I don't even know why I've got a Weber fire, by the way. Um, I, I, I think I switched it in for PV. P. I took this out on a PvP run, and I think I switched the web of fire in for PvP. And uh, as you can see, it's not the most, it's not the thing that I'm using at all when I'm doing PvE. So probably should have changed that fitting, but you know, it is what it is. We're not going to get too upset about it. Okay, I'm going to pop that. Uh, I can still use a bit of shield blasting. So there's a lot of Naja. There's a Drake here. I want to kill the Drake first. And then I can just lock whatever realistically. We're taking a bit of damage, but we're not. Yeah, I think another another Nosferatu would be very welcome. We're gonna we're gonna orbit this guy. Okay, so we just need to try and maintain speed so we don't get hit, and trying to maintain angular velocity versus a lot of these uh, a lot of these uh, battle cruisers. Again, I'm, I'm just trying to keep above 30% capacitor. I only dropped below 30% in an absolutely dire scenario. If we, I mean, I, I'm feeling like we could man. We should be able to manage. We should be able to manage. I can still, I can go into armor a little bit. Like, it's not the worst thing in the world if I go into armor, you know. We're, push, we're pushing this Caracal to the limits on this wave. And trust me, there's not even there's no there's no elites in this wave. You know, it's only going to get harder. I'm doing this truly solo, just to show you that it is possible um, with the right setup to do these things truly solo. I'm going to pop this just because I, I really want to burst this Drake. I want to I want to get these uh, these things down orbit. All right, now the Drake's down. I actually think like a lot of the damage. Oh god, that's not the thing that I wanted to stop. I actually, I actually do really want those uh, resistances. Ah, I'm going to pop them both at the same time. Okay, we are eerie, eerily close. Okay, we're below, we're below 30%. I'm going to try and just get a bit of uh, cap back with my Nosferatus before putting too much into my... I, like, I really don't want to... I don't want to drop hugely below, like, 
the, the prime capacitor draw area. Or you saw the prime natural regen. So you get you get the most natural regen, I think, between 30 and 34% capacitor. And if you drop below 34% capacitor or 30% capacitor, you're actually going to start uh, having a drop off in natural capacitor regen. So that's why you see me just being a little bit more, um, uh, I guess, uh, careful about how, when I when I use my shield booster and when I don't use my shield booster. And so we've got another one off here. So we're going to go orbit this guy. We're at currently at two kilometers from him. So, all right, got some good capacitor back here. I think actually we're going to, with just four battle cruisers left, we're going to be able to tank this wave, no issues. All right, what I'm going to do is I am going to finish off this wave and you can see I'm not going to have a problem killing the, killing the rest of this wave. Um, it's relatively easy to do so from here on out. What I'm going to do after this is I'm going to I'm going to essentially warp back, and then we're going to warp in at 100 again, and it will probably contain one or two elites. So we're going to have to do the same thing. I imagine there's going to be three waves. The third wave being the hardest. I do believe in a soldier's way there are warp disruptors. I would t I would say, guys, whenever whenever you are doing a storyline mission, just assume that warp disruptors are on the menu. Um, assume that, that there is likely going to be uh, warp disruptors, um, because if you don't, you, 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 you're fairly likely to die. Um, but here we go, orbit. What's the loot looking like? I don't think the the, the battle cruiser loot is particular. I don't mean I, any any of the loot that doesn't come from elites is never going to be worth a huge amount of money. All right, we're we're perfectly fine here, as you can see. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to show you to the end of this wave just to show you that it's it's completable. Um, um, this is the tactic that I use for dealing with every single uh, storyline mission. When there are elites, especially ones that micro warp drive to you, that's why you hover at 100 kilometers because the one the elites, if they lock onto you and NWD towards you, will, will close the distance very quickly. And you really want to be taking the elites on one on one. There are elite battle cruisers and elite uh, sort of elite cruisers in this uh, in this storyline. Um, and they absolutely hit like a truck. Like I had to warp out once or twice um, in the previous waves. So there are two. There are two sets of engagements in this. I had to warp out on the previous one because an elite ferox was essentially killing me by itself. Like one hundred percent killing me by itself. They, 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 you can see the battle cruiser. The, the battle cruiser bounties are pretty good though. Like you can make a few million just in bounties, even on the normal waves, which is not a problem whatsoever. And you can see we're in we're like back almost to 100% shield here. It didn't even hit our armor, and we we're up against maybe like, well, maybe like 15 ships, 15 ships in this wave. No elites, of course. So it was a little bit easier than usual. But um, 15 normal ships, especially battle cruisers, is no laughing matter. You definitely know how to need to know how to approach them. Um, and because I'm using rapid mediums and using Nosferatu's to tank, it's uh, it's not quite as easy as just trying to outrange everything. It's more about utilizing the afterburner to have. Um, uh, a greater speed and you can see like um, he's actually dealing very little damage to me you're going to notice like 37 I'm doing some damage to him I don't think he's doing any more damage to me yet. see he's actually doing doing very little to me anyway I'm going to orbit this guy over here now I think that might be my drone dealing damage actually but I'm not I'm not taking much damage in the slightest from these guys uh so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do after this. I'm going to get my travel up. Uh, and since there are no stations here, so I'm going to have to be extra careful. We're in a no station system. Um, I'm probably just going to go because we're in, oh, we're in low sec. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to align out to a uh, the closest planet. And we'll do the same thing again. Didn't realize we were in a low sec system here, actually. And Okay. Just start dealing as much damage to him as possible. I've got a small drone, although the better the better version drone, if you're running rapid medium missiles, is always going to be a medium because you, you already deal great damage to frigates. You don't need a small drone, but they're so expensive. I just just couldn't afford to have one on the ship at the moment. Uh, I probably could afford one if I've sold off some things, but I've invested that. I, I, I've invested a lot into Plex and a lot into other ships for videos that I don't actually have a much liquid cash right now. All right, so I am going to quickly check the loot. There's nothing that's close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to approach and I am going to warp because there's going to be a lot of stuff spawning. Elite Pythium Condor. Yep. Let's get out of here. Cool. That was that wave done and dusted. 
Um, I'm now going to show you the beginning of the next wave because what this wave is going to, what the beginning of this next wave is going to do. I'll, I'll quickly show you my fittings as well because I, I, I think it's just easy to do it here. Also, I haven't got my I haven't got my face in front of the fittings this time around, so everyone gets, everyone who gets triggered by that will be happy. I've got five times Republic fleet medium missiles. I will say if you're running MK5s, this is going to be much harder because your DPS will be lower. Um, but it is possible to do tier six storyline missions with Mark Fives, not a problem. I should be running three Nosferatus. I don't think the web's really helping me here. I left this over, unfortunately, from PvP. Um, I better just double check. I'm not, I'm not getting killed. That's fine. It would tell me if I was getting attacked. And then I'm running a small drone, but I would recommend that you run a medium drone because they're going to be better. Usually, um, whatever the um, the Galente or the the or the Caldari one is, the Caldari drones are the best. I think most people tend to go for them, but whatever the Galente or Caldari drones are, I'd recommend running. Uh, especially the medium version if you're running rapid mediums. I'm running an adaptive shield harder, a medium shield booster, and I'm being sustained by my Nosferatus, a ballistic missile control system, and I'm running an afterburner. Uh, the reason is that I'm running the afterburner is there are some elites that will keep out of range of me and I want to close the distance. And obviously speed tanking versus battle cruisers is always going to be a pretty good thing. You can also speed tank versus certain cruisers as well. Um, so having the afterburner on really helps me. That's my personal opinion anyway. This, this is the setup that I've been running. There are some armor tank Caracals running around, which I'm going to try, but I, don't, I just don't have the skills in armor right now. I'm running two warp core optimizers to, to prevent myself getting warp jammed by an elite condor, for instance. And I'm running a uh, warhead calefaction catalyst and a, a bay loading accelerator, both of which increase my DPS. If I can get the, 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 the number two version of this, the tier two versions, I'm going to have a big DPS increase as well. So uh, I'm overall got a 375 DPS. When I hit my um, ballistic missile control system, that jumps up to around 480. So we've got a pretty high DPS in the Caracal Navy issue. Let's now jump over to the mission and try doing this by ourselves. Again, this is very difficult to do by yourself, especially in a system with no uh, station. You have to be so careful because, um, you, you know, especially low sec, if someone just randomly decides to gank you when you're heading out, um, or you're like warping to a belt or something, and you get ganked. Like it can be, it can, it can be a little bit risky. Um, but I should be able to warp in at 100 kilometers, and I'm expecting the elites to close the distance on me pretty quickly. Not all elites will. Not all elites will just run at you real quick. But if I have a look at the, um, there's loads here. I'm expecting the elite, or the the elite pithy condor interceptor. I'm expecting. We can expect the condor interceptor maybe. I might expect the Naja. I doubt it though. Pythium Caracal Sniper, Pith Naga. And we're just going to look at these two and see if they run at me real quick. They haven't actually locked me as of yet, and nothing else is moving towards me. Um, again, I'm just going to. I'm going to orbit at 100 kilometers for the time being. Just so I can get a read on who's actually coming towards me and who's not. I could align away, but I do actually want something to catch up with me. And given there are lots of slow ships, there's lots of cruisers and lots of battle cruisers. There isn't many destroyers. I and mean, I don't even think there is a single destroyer in this wave. There are two, there are two three frigates. Um, is that four frigates? No. Yeah, four frigates. So there's four frigates in this wave. There are no destroyers. You know, I'm expecting the frigates to be the ones that close the distance more quickly, but it looks like they're not actually doing anything right now. It looks like some of them haven't even locked me. Uh, the Blackbird's heading towards me, so I'm actually going to lock that. But what I'm doing is I'm just waiting. I'm hoping that once I get locked by elites, they'll actually MWD over towards me. You always take this slow. Like, you always take this part of the... Um, the... Uh, the the round slow. You can see this. They see here the elite pithy condor is now MWDing towards me. So I am going to get closed. The distance is going to get closed. This condor is going to hit me and try to hit me real hard. Um, but this is good because I want this. I want this thing to come out by itself because I can take the elites on one versus one with relative ease. See, closing that distance really quickly. It has got a micro warp drive attached. It is just running at me right now. Uh, and as soon as it comes into range, we're going to kill it. I can kill an elite pithy condor by myself easily enough. So that's the way I approach this. And once it's in range, we kill it. And then we start to bait other things out. Like we wait for this we wait, we wait for this blackbird to get to me, wait for maybe another condor. You can see this next condor is now moving towards me relatively quickly. 
Um, I'm just going to pop these, even though it's well out of range, I'm just going to pop them. Get my drone going, and he's in range, and pop everything. I'm going to pop my afterburner now as well. Okay. So I shouldn't have an issue killing this elite condor. Uh, he has scrambled me, so my warp strength is reduced. And that's why you have to be so careful, because these elite interceptors, they will warp jam you. And if you, if you, if you, not, you are not able to take on one by yourself, or you're getting hit by several things at once, you're going to die. So once this thing's down, I should, we shouldn't have much uh, issue with, with warp scramblers. And if I do, I should be able to kill them with relative ease. And you can see here. Good. He's dead. I actually want to loot him and see what he's got, guys. I'm actually going to have a quick loot and see what he's got. I'm hoping he drops a warp disruptor. That'd be nice. Uh, you can see the blackbird and the next condor are coming out towards me. Again, this is what you do. You just wait to see who actually breaks off from the pack. Uh, and I know that I can tank 8 to 10 cruisers and battle cruisers with this particular setup as long as I get into range. Gallows, small, medium, that's, useless. that's not going to sell for anything. Never mind. It was a good try, guys. It was a good try. Hoping that you get the, the warp disruptor because they're worth a lot. This condor's coming in. It's got you know, a million and something worth of bounties. It's not bad. This condor's coming in now. A lot of ships, though. Look at these. Look at the amount of ships. So I'm going to try and kill this condor. And then I'm going to kill the blackbird. Taking a little bit of damage here. Something, something's got a very long range. I have to be a bit careful. Uh, I'm actually going to orbit the mission at maybe like 75k. Oh, I'm actually attacking the wrong target. Let's kill this condor really quickly. Let's orbit this guy 8 kilometers to, uh, to get my capacitor back. As you can see, my capacitor appears to be dead. I'm probably going to have to warp out of this one because I've just taken a little bit too much damage. There's a Ferox coming towards me. Cruiser X. Not going to have anything good in it, I don't think. I want to kill the Condor. I want to kill the frigates because they go down really quickly. Tracking computer. Can we kill the frigate, please? Thank you. I'm going to orbit this guy at 8. I have my, I have my orbit set at the, the normal orbit. Okay. Okay, my, the condor is actually coming to range now, so maybe I should try and kill it. This guy's coming into range. Need to start using my shield booster. I'm going to kill this guy quickly with the rest of my weapons. Again. Okay. I'm definitely, definitely going to struggle... Um, with this wave, I have to. I'm going to have to probably uh, warp out. But if I can kill a few things before I warp out, I don't really want to get dropped down to armor. That's the thing that I'm just keeping my eye on. I don't really want to get dropped down to armor because there is no station to repair at, or if there is a station, it's probably in one of the neighboring systems, which is going to be a bit of a bit of pain in case I have to just keep going in and out of the gate. But if I can kill off a few things on this wave, like I'm pretty happy. I'll then go out and just wait and regen. Would it be nice? It would be nice if there was a station because it would just be able to regen for free. But how many um, things we got left to kill? Quite a lot. All right, this is going to take a while. Uh, I'm imagining this is going to take upwards of the hour, and I don't actually have don't actually have the time to do that, unfortunately. But uh, I'm happy that I'm just killing a few things, you know. Like, kill the blackbird, maybe kill the ferox.
don't think I might not have enough time to kill the Ferox. I think I'm a little bit too close to the majority of the stuff here. But I might be able to kill the Blackbird before getting out. I mean, I'm, I'm not taking a huge amount of damage. Kill the Ferox. Not the worst thing to ever happen. I have a meeting in five minutes though, so regardless of what happens, I am actually going to have to drop out. I'm going to have to drop this for the time being. I'm, I'm, to fi I'm at to 50% capacitor. I need to start regenning. If I had three Nosferatus, this would be a little easier. <laughs> I'm There's a lot of things firing at me right now. Kill the Ferox and, and get out, I think. Kill the Ferox. I mean, I'm in, I'm in too close range, okay? So I think I'm going to just uh, warp. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm 100% warping. I am 100% warping here. Can we kill the Ferox? I don't know. Not quite. Um, right, I'm going to go to a station system and then we're going to try it. We're going to come in at 100 again and just look for a different angle. We've, we've kind of split the pack up a little bit, but yeah, we're going to, we're going to look for a slightly different angle there. Uh, but that is essentially how I do these things solo. You can do it over time and it will, you know, some of the easier missions, you know, there are some missions that you won't be able to do solo. The tier 10s are quite difficult unless you're running like a Vexa maybe. But like in a Caracal, like you can do the tier 8 ones with relative ease and you just need to just be sensible about how you, sensible about how you approach it and like kind of know the techniques. So hopefully this helps Anybody still like understanding how to do story missions? Okay, and this is especially for Ilmarine23, who said, love your content, but your videos just cut, cut at the end. Say bye or something. All right, Ilmarine, here you go. Bye. <laughs> bye, everyone.